Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. Today we will see how you can make an awesome roadmap diagram in PowerPoint. I have created two variants and it looks like this. I have added a few animation effects which we will see how to do it in later videos. Today we will see how you can create a beautiful scene with a beautiful pin drops. So let's start. To make a road map, we need some pins and road of course. We also need some placeholders for our text. Take a blank slide, go to insert and insert picture. I already have a picture downloaded from Pixabay. Adjust your picture as per your requirement. Then go to insert again and find a background picture from online. I choose this hilly picture. You can choose any picture you feel right for your project. Crop the picture as per slide and adjust it to the top. Then adjust your road. Next, right click on the slide and format background and select gradient fill. Adjust the gradient stops as per requirement. You can add or delete the gradient stops. Click on a stop, click on the color and then click again on the eyedropper to pick color from the picture. Do the same for all the gradient stops. Adjust the transparency as per your requirement. Next, select the picture and increase the soft edges till the picture blend into the background. Beautiful. Now with our backdrop ready, let us now make our text placeholders. From the shapes, select the top corner snipped shape and draw a rectangle. Adjust the left rounded edge and the snipped edge. Make a copy of the same by pressing Ctrl plus D. Next, draw a square which sits perfectly in the snipped edge. Select both the shapes, go to Format, March Shapes and click on Intersect. You get a right angle triangle. You can also get the right angle triangle from the shape tools. Change the color of the shapes to white and place your right angle triangle on the snipped edge. Then group the shapes together by pressing Ctrl plus G. Give the shape a top right outer shadow. Make a duplicate and make the shape small. Let's now make the second banner type placeholder. Draw a rectangle. Give it a light color. Then draw a right angle triangle. Rotate the triangle. Place it below the rectangle. Select both the shapes and group them together. Adjust the size if required. Ok, let's now see how we can make this beautiful 3D pins. Go to shapes and select the teardrop shape. Hold down your shift key to draw a teardrop. Holding the shift key, rotate the teardrop till the yellow bubble is at the bottom. Click on the yellow bubble and stretch it down. Give the shape a light color. Next, draw a perfect circle from the oval tool by holding down your shift key. Place the circle inside the teardrop. Select both the shapes, no outer line. Then go to effects, select top bevel as angle. Go to material, select special dark edge, then go to lighting, select cool and freezing. Now duplicate the shape by pressing ctrl D and change the color of the teardrop and the circle. Make as many as you need. You can experiment with different colors also. Ok, so now that we have our pins and text placeholders ready, we can build our road map. Let's place the pins on our road and adjust the size of the pin. 
the farthest pins can be made a little smaller. Let us now place the small text placeholder inside the pin. Adjust the size. Copy the banner text holder and paste it alongside the pins. You can adjust the color of the placeholder also. Keep it contrasting with the background. Click on the text box tool and click inside the banner to write your text. Let's duplicate the slide and change the banner with snipped corner file type and then write your text. Dear friends, I hope we learned something useful today. You can play with all the elements that I have shown here and customize your own slide as per your requirement. In my upcoming video, we will see how we can use animation to make our slides come alive. Till then, be well and keep watching Amazing Indian.